Greetings and welcome to this video tutorial on how to create the seed of life and the flower of life pattern. So we're going to start off by using this triangle figure which has three points. And what we want to do is change it to six points. So now, now that we have six points, we want to change the child points ratio. So notice what happens when I change it to two. Each circle now has 12 points. However, we want to have that roundness, that smooth circle. So we're going to change it all the way up to eight. So now each circle is very round, very smooth, and voila, you already have the seed of life. Now, how do we use this pattern to create the flower of life? Well, we're going to go here to layer and we're going to use this pretty cool feature um, called copy along vertex points. Now, you'll notice that there's a dot here and basically what that is telling you is the shortcut feature on your keyboard. So if you were to press the dot on your keyboard, it would um, basically carry out this action. So let's click on this and there you go. Now I'm going to make sure that I'm highlighting this layer and I'm going to click on the dot keyboard six times and there you go. You have that beautiful flower of life core pattern. Now you'll notice that we have seven layers. If we take out the first layer, the interference from the other six layers create the same pattern. So we don't need this one. We can go ahead and delete it right here or using control X. Once we have this, that's when we start, we can start working with this flower of life pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on modify all. So this is going to select all the layers. So we're going to be modifying all the layers at the same time. So now watch what happens when I copy along the vertex points of all the layers. If you paid attention, now we have 12 layers. So basically what happened was that it multiplied or duplicated the entire geometric formation. And so we can continue doing that and just overlaying the pattern. So let's stay with this, right? We have 18 layers. Actually, let's do two more. Click the dot my keyboard once again overlay it like this one more time and here we go now we have a nice flower of life pattern and you can continue doing this you can basically cover the entire canvas if you so desire so let's Keep on doing this just for the sake of it. I just want to make sure that the lines are really on top of each other so that they're acting as one line. Anyway, I think that's good enough. Now, let's say that we want to change the color of the lines. So I, oh, so once again, what I want to do is click on modify all, off, and then on again. And now select on the line and choose a color. And now I change the color of all the lines. Now, let's say that I want to change the color of one layer at a time, then I want to make sure 
to click modify all off and then I can select layer by layer click on the line change color so here layer one change to blue now let's say I want to change layer three highlighted it here and now it's green and I can continue doing that let's change this one to let's say red and let's change this one to green as well all right and you can play around with that you have 42 layers so you can you know change as many as you want so you can change them all you can change one yes or one not and so you'll have a cool play of violet and different colors and the reason you may want to do that is once you start playing once you have this pattern right then you could live it as it is or you can start playing with animation and traces so let's see what happens when we click animation and tracing now we click tracing on now let's wait and click traces now and there you have that cool pattern of the flower of life now you can see why I changed colors because that gives you like different layers different textures right so you can see how the different colors overlap and create different hues and layers of those colors and the mixtures of all the colors that are interacting with each other so imagine this all over the code or you know just imagine the possibilities you can play around with different mix and match colors etc now once we have this let's go ahead and play with the scene zoom which is something I really like so we're gonna click animation we're gonna go to drawing and we're gonna select the scene zoom and we're gonna scroll it all the way down to 0 0.01 all the way to the left and now we're gonna click traces on so if you notice here every time I click on or off it will say true or false so let's see animation now it's false now it's on so both are on right now both animation and tracing but because I've selected or dragged the scene zoom all the way to the left it's not showing but let's see what happens when I start dragging that to the right and so you get the idea you can start playing around with this to create different patterns now you'll notice that uh, once again when I achieved the image or the frame that I was looking for or that I liked I dragged the scene zoom all the way back to the left and basically that allowed me to freeze the image that way if I want to save this image and export it I can go here file uh, export and it will export this frame right here now let's say I want to just keep playing with this so I'm gonna once again turn off the tracing and turn it on again and now instead of dragging it I'm gonna select a specific point and I'm gonna click here boom look at that that is so beautiful you have that flower of life pattern formation and then some traces in the background with that same frequency so it's like a holographic effect actually looks like a painting so actually I really like this one I'm gonna go ahead and save that and export it 
as you can see now it's on my browser and I can use this as a wallpaper or print it out and put it on my office or you know use it for a design a logo or just share it on Facebook that's beautiful now that I I actually one thing I recommend is that once you created this pattern right the flower of life pattern what you can do is that so that the next time you want to work with this pattern you don't have to recreate it you can go here to file and you can save it and I would suggest saving it to the cloud so you would click save on cloud and you would put a name on it flower of life pattern something like that and then the next time that you want to work with this you click on load from cloud and you're going to find that scene as you left it the last time you were using it or the last time you saved it so now you can keep adding different scenes and and working with them